Okay, we have our two another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2006, problem 41. We have the integral of one over x plus squared, one plus x squared, dx. Okay, I know a few different ways to do this one. I think I'm actually gonna do two videos so I can get in two methods. What I'm gonna do here is probably gonna be the longer method, and I'll provide a link in the description to the other video, which is gonna be a little shorter probably. To get started with this, what I wanna do is just kind of the straightforward thing and do a u substitution for this whole denominator here. So when I do that, we're gonna have, let's start over here, we'll have u equal to x plus square root one plus x squared. And then before taking the derivative, I wanna solve for x. So what I can do is let's subtract an x on both sides. So we'll have u minus x equal to square root one plus x squared. Square out both sides and we have u squared plus x squared minus two ux. And this is just gonna give us what's in here. This is gonna be one plus x squared but the x squares can cancel on both sides, just subtracting that off. We can rearrange this and write this as two ux equal to u squared minus one. I wanna isolate the x, so I'll divide off two u on both sides, and that's gonna give us our value here for x. And then from here, let's get our dx value by just taking the derivative using the quotient rule. So for dx, first take the derivative of the numerator, that's gonna be two u times the denominator, two u minus We'll bring over this u squared minus one, take a derivative of the denominator, that's gonna give me a two here. And then we just square the denominator, and that's gonna be four u squared. Getting some simplification, this first piece is gonna be four u squared. Distributing everything in, we have minus two u squared plus two over four u squared. I think I'll just come over here and clean it up. So that's gonna be, so this here is gonna become two u squared plus two over four u squared factor a two out of everything and cancel it out. And we're gonna be left with u squared plus one over two u squared. And now we can just go ahead and substitute. So our dx is gonna be all this. So let me write it this way. We'll have our u squared plus one up here, du. And we'll bring, I'll bring this over here, but for the two, let's bring it up front as a one half. And then all this again is just u. So we have a u right there. But I can multiply u times u squared. We can get a u cubed right there. And then from here, let's just divide this u cubed into the numerator and split this into two integrals. So for the first one, we have one half, one over u du. Second one, distributing in the one half, this is gonna become integral of one over u cubed du. Just go ahead and integrate. This is gonna become one half. This is gonna be natural log absolute value of u. Then here, when we do this, let's see, we have one half up front. This Integrating this with the power rule, this is gonna become a minus one over two u squared. And we just need to back substitute with the u in order to finish this off. So let's see what we get. We're gonna have one half here, natural log. I'm gonna drop the absolute value. This is always gonna be positive. So I'll write this x plus square root one plus x squared. Then here, I'm multiplying half times minus half. I'll write this as minus one fourth, and then one over u squared. So this is gonna become this thing just squared. So we'll have this x plus square root one plus x squared, all squared, add a plus c, and that's it. But now one thing before we finish up, this solution actually looks pretty different than what they had in the MIT answer key for this one. So what I wanna do is actually kinda of take this, manipulate it, try to rearrange this denominator over here in order to make it look more like their solution. Okay, what I wanna do is try to clean this up, so I really just wanna focus on this piece. I'm not too worried about the rest of the stuff. So focusing on this, where we can really get some simplification here is by multiplying by the conjugate. So instead of looking at the square, let's just look at one copy of this. We'll rearrange it a little bit. I'm gonna write it like one plus x squared plus x. Now, if I multiply this top and bottom by one plus x squared minus x, then we've got difference of two squares set up here. But I need to multiply by the same thing in the numerator. So when we do this, this first piece is just gonna come over. So I'll just rewrite that one plus x squared minus x. Multiplying this out, we multiply this times this, we're just going to get one plus x squared. Middle terms are going to cancel. The last term, x times minus x, gives me minus x squared. But then x squareds cancel, we just have one in the numerator. So really what we have after doing that, we just have this right here. And now the only thing we need to do before plugging this back in is this whole thing here, this is squared. So I actually need to square this. So if we do that, let's see, we square the first term, we're going to get one plus x squared here. Squaring the second term, we get a plus x squared. Middle terms, we'll have minus two x square root one plus x squared. I can reduce this a little bit and put these together. So let's see, one plus two x squared minus two x square root one plus x squared. 
Then let's bring this minus one fourth back into it and see if we can get some more simplification. Now, one thing, we multiply minus one fourth times one, we get minus one fourth. We already have a constant plus C, so that's just gonna get absorbed in the constant. So let's just remove this because that's not doing anything for us. I can distribute it in a minus sign, make this a plus, make this a minus. And then actually you can take this one fourth, write it as one half times one half, because then what I can do is cancel half with this two and this two. And so let's take this mess right here and put it back in for our solution and see what we have. Okay, so taking this and plugging it back in here, now I'm gonna write this as plus one half. I can rearrange the order just to get the plus sign in front. So we can write this as x square root one plus x squared minus x squared. And then we just need to bring this stuff down. But one thing I wanna notice, this right here, this thing right here, this is actually the same thing as inverse cinch. So I can actually write this piece as inverse cinch of x. We have the one half in front. I could factor out the one half, but I think I'm gonna just leave it like this, add a plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.